Hey Steak and Butter Gang, it's me Bella the Steak and Butter Gal. Hope you all are having a beautiful new year. Right now it's 6.15, December 30th, 2020, but I know I'll be posting this once the new year hits. So I just wanna wish you all a proper happy new year. I hope you all are having a great start to 2021. Here is another what I eat in a few days video. I'm not sure how many days I'm posting, but hope you guys get plenty of ideas for simple, easy, fatty meals for the carnivore diet and happy World Carnivore Month. Okay, SB gang, carnivores, keeping you updated along my dairy-free journey. This is day three of absolutely no dairy, excluding butter. So no cheese, no yogurt, which were the dairy products that I really, really splurged on. <laughs> and I found it so difficult to stop eating it. It was messing with my hunger cues and I was feeling lower energy, lots of brain fog, and I had a lot of breakouts. So this is why I'm doing the dairy-free 30-day challenge for myself and for my SB gang members who are in. So this is the last packet of the Costco Kirkland brand ground beef 8515. But today, in addition to the ground beef, I have a special guest. Are you ready? Let's welcome our special guest, raw salmon. This is wild-caught raw king salmon seriously the best quality because it's from seattle's pike place market and steak and butter guy got me this he wanted to treat me so very sweet of him yes and i requested the butcher to cut out the fattest fattest chunk for me so here's a pro tip actually if you're doing this dairy free challenge with me firstly congrats and welcome i'm so excited to do it with you and you are craving for some more variety besides beef butter eggs salmon is pretty much your best bet because it is so high in omega-3s, DHAs, and the flavor is so intense, especially if you eat it raw and fatty. Okay, so we are now at day three of completely dairy-free carnivore eating. So I want to specify that when I say dairy-free, for me, I don't count butter. So all the Kerrygold butter is of course still going to be incorporated. It's going to be 100% allowed in my diet. In fact, it makes up pretty much 60 to 80 to 90% of my diet. I've been eating so much butter lately. So butter does not count in this dairy-free challenge. So hopefully people join in on this challenge of going all in carnivore, but also dairy-free. It adds like a advanced level. So far, so great. I'm feeling absolutely fantastic already. I already feel like I'm back to normal, back to my superhuman Bella the steak and butter superwoman self. And um, I'm going to cook up the rest of the ground beef that I have, it's my last package, so hopefully I can get more tomorrow. And we have this special guest right here. Wow, look at that color. The raw fatty salmon wild caught. A pro tip from me, if you are craving for some variety, don't reach for the cheese, don't reach for the yogurt, instead reach for salmon, reach for seafood. It is such a nutrient dense, uh, full of DHA and omega-3 food, and it's really gonna satiate you. It's gonna also help you hit that spot if you're craving for something salty and a little bit different in taste uh, when compared to beef or your regular butter, egg, egg pudding even. So always try to incorporate some seafood. My favorite personally is raw fatty salmon, just because I just love that refreshing taste and chewy texture. And come on, that fattiness and slight salty flavor is amazing. So I was craving it today. And Steak and Butter Guy was sweet enough to take me to go get some at Pike's Place. So I'm listening to my body 100% and my body is craving for some salmon. But let's say you just don't know how to add more variety, try seafood 100%. And of course, I can't forget about the Kerrygold butter. I have one whole block for tonight. If I finish it, great. If I don't, I'll just save it for tomorrow. But I always make sure I have plenty uh, to munch on and uh, to indulge in.
Okay, this is day four of zero cheese, zero yogurt, but plenty of butter. Besides this gorgeous block of butter, I'm having Wagyu beef. So this was actually gifted to me by Jeanette, also known as Land to Table Gal on Instagram. I met her on Instagram and we fell in love with each other. She is awesome. She's a carnivore. She's a huntress and she's an organ eater. So she's super badass. But she hunted all of these meats that she gave me. Now this Wagyu beef, she uh, actually sourced locally. The cow was actually raised right by where she lives. So I'm so excited to eat locally sourced meat she hunted this one venison she gave me some super cool exotic meats i got venison i got antelope and the third white little packaging is elk so i'm going to be dedicating a video just trying out these three very exotic meats that i have never tried before very excited about that but today i'll just be trying the wagyu beef so while i was hanging out with jeanette she told me that the wagyu beef is actually 100 humanely pasture raised locally right on the island where she lives in washington and it just makes me feel so grateful and so blessed to be able to hear about where these meats came from and to know that it's so locally sourced also the fact that Jeanette and her boyfriend Rob worked hard to hunt these animals just makes me feel that much more grateful and excited to eat these meats to take in the nutrients and indulge in the deliciousness of the taste so thank you so much Jeanette oh and if that wasn't enough Jeanette also gifted me these 12 beautiful freshly laid chicken eggs that she got from her neighbor so she lives around farmers and people who have chickens and animals and cows so I just thank her so much that I can get a taste of fresh meat and fresh chicken eggs this is a meal to remember guys Okay, so while I wait for the eggs to finish boiling, I thought I would do this Wagyu beef justice by doing a first Wagyu smirk ever. I don't think I've ever done a Wagyu smirk on my YouTube channel. So this will be a Wagyu smirk in honor of Jeanette's generosity and kindness for gifting me all of those meats that I just showed you. So this Wagyu is local to Washington. It is a Wagyu cow pasture raised humanely raised up until three days before it was slaughtered so i am very grateful for this piece of meat and the rest of it in the pan let's give it a try thank you jeanette again oh my gosh wow the flavor in that bite is so intense it doesn't even taste like beef it's very fatty wow there's like oil on my fingers mm. it's like almost a smoked aged beefy taste that is delicious it almost tastes like it's seasoned with spices because of the smoked flavor it's so complex that is delicious. 20 out of 10. Wagyu smirk. Wow, it's so good. <gasps> What are you eating? Let me. Oh, steak, right? That looks delicious. No, this is actually a venison oh. from Mount Vernon. Mount <laughs> oh, Vernon, Vermont. <laughs>
Welcome to day five of dairy free eating. Today I was very active. I walked five miles plus. So I'm eating two pounds of ground beef from Whole Foods because I ran out of Costco and we're trying a new German butter. Yo, this is the sweetest butter I have ever freaking tried. I don't think I've ever put anything this sweet that is classified as butter in my mouth. Maybe besides raw butter, maybe raw pasteurized butter, but honestly, it's been so long I can't even remember. This is the closest to the sweetness in raw butter um, that I have found in any grocery store bought butter. So this German butter is insane. I got this at Whole Foods and it was on sale under four bucks with the sale discount. This is some good stuff. It's legit sweet. Okay, so here's the finished product of my meal for today. Since I was very active today, lots of activities outdoors, so I'll be eating a lot more than usual. I mean, honestly, this is not too, too much. I've eaten five pounds in a day before, so this is two whole pounds of extremely fatty ground beef, as you can see, so fatty. And I'm having the German butter today, but I just wanna show you guys, I still have a block of Kerrygold and I'll save this for tomorrow. But come here to mama, German butter. I don't even know what brand this is. I think it's Fond O Foods. This is good stuff. Mm -hmm. 